Hi, my name is Glenn Lucas, and I'd like to thank you for joining me here in my workshop today. I have the fire lighting, it's nice and cozy in here, and I'm ready to start one of my favorite projects. Now this here is what we're going to do today. It's made from Irish cherry from County Kilkenny, and it's inspired by a piece that I have here, which was given to me by a very good friend of mine. Now this was made several hundred years ago from Irish sycamore and it's only about three millimeters in wall thickness. So I'm going to show you first of all some of the tools that we're going to work with. So the first tool that we're going to use is the GL4 and what I've done is I've placed the red marker, just a red line down the center of the tool. So right down there it's called the flute. And that red marker is very helpful when it comes to uh, explaining how to hold this tool safely. It's likely to just bite in and just catch. So I'm going to take that tool and rotate it until the red line is gone. So that's the safe place to hold this tool. All I need to do is actually bend my right knee and that'll make the tool travel forward. So the bevel of the tool is this area here. So at this stage I'm going to measure in here about 50 millimeters or two inches from the outside edge and just mark a pencil line. The next step is to adjust the tool rest. So what I'm going to do here, just to explain how this tool is cutting, I'm going to draw a pencil line parallel to the tool rest and I'll use the ruler here to just mark a 45 degree angle. I'll grab the red marker again and just show you the area of this tool that's going to do all the cutting, just to the left of the very tip of the tool. So watch what happens when I do this. So I'm going to line this tool over to the left for a second. Because if you try to reach around in that position, you will not do it the second time. The tool will catch so badly that will leave you a little nervous of the lathe for a while. And the best way to remember is to forget it once, a little bit like my wife's birthday. And just listen. Okay, we have 6.82 millimeters. And that's looking pretty good. So we're ready for sanding. And um, I had a student in the class a couple of weeks ago who knocked it over twice. So I thought I need to do something about this. So what I've done is I've placed a little magnet on the inside there and that magnet just holds it in place. And that's really looking very good. So let's take it off the lathe and just inspect it. So the only thing we have to do now is actually sign this piece and then we're finished. 